In Hawaii, the lao lao is one of the most recognized local foods around. To us, it's a plump packet of juicy, slow-cooked meat and fish surrounded by warm, steamed taro leaves and all held together by tea leaves. It's common for any plate lunch to include one, but sales of this Hawaiian comfort food also spike during the holiday season as families come together to celebrate. For this issue of Honolulu Magazine, we talked to Gary Ishimoto, president of Kiyoki's Lao Lao, to see how this special product is made. Right now we're looking at our locally grown tea leaf. This is provided by various farms throughout Oahu on different parts of the island. And again, these are all locally grown by local farmers and we, we try to support our local farmers in that respect. On this side, we have our taro leaf, again, all locally grown. Uh, a lot of this is grown in Kahalu or Waipahu. The one thing that quickly becomes apparent here is that they make a lot of lao lao. They will use three to 4,000 pounds of taro leaves and approximately 16,000 tea leaves every day. The first step with any farm fresh agriculture is to give the produce a good wash. Then it's time to assemble. Here we have our ladies that are wrapping our lao laos. The meat is all portion cut and salted the night before as well as the butterfish. Next we're going to the pork cutting table. This is where our cutters will separate the meat protein from the fat. They are very skilled meat cutters where they're cutting anywhere between three and 4,000 pounds of pork a day. Their accuracy is very important to portion out the protein or the meat portion, the lean meat versus the fat so that we get that synergy of the right amount of fat and the right amount of meat to make the lao lao tasty. And that's a big knife. That's a very big knife. <laughs> if you stop and carefully watch the production staff, even for a few minutes, you realize that they're on their feet all day and that physically, this is incredibly hard work. The women will take a few taro leaves, a piece of pork, a piece of fat, and a piece of butter fish, quickly roll and then wrap, and then tie it all up in tea leaves. Basically, training is on the job. It's gonna take you years and years, and, and I can attest because I still can't do it. <laughs> but these ladies probably wrap a lao lao anywhere from a minute a piece to as fast as 30 seconds a piece. The one common denominator is the knot. Oh, I see. And how they cinch it. So you'll see all kinds of lao laos tied with string, tied with twine, tied with anything, but we tend to tie it with the, the actual stem of the tea leaf. These ladies wrap lao lao all day. They're very skilled. I am amazed. I, I could not do this on my best day. <laughs> I'm very much amazed. Some of these women are so good at wrapping lao lao because they've been doing it for a very long time. Ida is 76 years old with no intentions of retiring. She, along with Gloria, have both been wrapping lao lao at Keoki's since 1998. When we visited this factory, we couldn't help but notice that the team works together seamlessly, like a symphony of lao lao making. The meat is cut, the yellow baskets full of freshly washed leaves come in, the lao laos are wrapped, the stems are snipped, the basket towers are neatly lined and filled, ready for steaming. Edwin Kamaka is the operations manager. Well, right now the boys are cutting the, the stems off the finished product of wrap lao lao and getting it set up to be steamed. Um, each basket holds about 35 and we, we have fixed about 12 baskets per tower, which is about 420 lao lao. And each oven holds about maybe anywhere from 1200 to 1700 lao lao. Another thing you might not be able to tell on video is that walking from room to room, the temperature varies wildly. Our camera lens will show you that it's refrigerated in the assembly room, but steaming in the hot oven room. The lalaos will cook for about four hours, and then they're moved to be quickly cooled. Once the product comes out of the oven and, and it's steamed, we let it sit for a little while to reach a certain temperature that meets the USDA requirements and then it's pushed into these blast chillers. It's really cold in here. It'll take a product down to 30 degrees in a matter of hours. And that's when we look at it as a SSC product, wholesome, ready to pack. Right now we're entering our finished product room, which is what we call our RTE room, ready to eat. And this is our, after it's cooled, cooled down and then we go to package it. It's fair to say that a lot of our daily lives today are managed by digital screens and computer automation. 
So it might come as a surprise to you that by the end of this nine hour day, the team will make seven to 8,000 lao laos and every single step will be done by hand. It's gonna be boxed up, taped up, and then from here he, he stacks it onto a pallet and then from there it's delivered to all our Costco stores, your local retail stores, your Times, your Safeway, your Foodlands, your Sack and Save, and also a lot of lunch wagons that maybe a lot of you local folks eat out there, you know, may seem like it's, you know, they make it, but a lot of it is ours. It's a lot of hard work. I, again, I, I emphasize that because I believe in our product. I believe we produce the best product on the island. I stand by my product. And for what these guys go through, everything, as you can see, wrapped, packed, all by hand, I, I don't think there's any better machine than these guys and, and the ladies. I look at these guys and these ladies as my family, my brothers and sisters. It's all about family and how we can make things you know, good with each other. Everything from putting a lala together, understanding food safety, treating our customers as our own family, and giving them the best wholesome product that we can ever make. For much more on our Hawaiian food feature, check out the November issue of Honolulu Magazine. You can subscribe at honolulumagazine.com or you can download the digital version through iTunes.